Welcome back to What's Now. As kids are heading back to school, it's important to consider school bus safety and lower emissions. How are these two connected and how does it help benefit students? Let's find out more. As our children kick off another school year, consider the importance of school buses and how they get to class. A recent study released by Georgia State University linked lower emission bus exhaust to improved academic performance. Here to discuss the research and what it means to students is Tucker Perkins, President and CEO of the Propane Education and Research Council. Welcome to Park City Television. Well, good morning, Christine. Thanks for having me today. Now, we know there's many benefits for air pollution with low emission buses, but what are the benefits to the students when riding to school in low emission powered school buses? Well, we were glad to see this study from Georgia State because it confirmed what we had seen over years of working in this area and particularly from bus drivers about the importance and the effects of coming to school in a bus that's healthier, quieter, and cleaner. The study from Georgia State looked at two groups of students, one riding to school every day in a diesel bus, the other riding to school in a low emission bus, and their study revealed that the students tested higher actually from the low emission bus in math and science. Bus drivers have been telling us that for years, that these buses are cleaner. You think about those emissions on the outside. Perhaps you've seen that cloud of black smoke. What's on the outside is generally on the inside of a bus as well, and children are breathing that every day. These buses are cleaner. Um, they're quieter. Students arrive to school uh, calmer, seem to be more prepared to learn. They miss fewer days because the buses are healthier. We were glad to see Georgia State confirm what we had heard from parents and bus drivers for years. So how common are these school buses? Well, I think viewers are always surprised to realize that this morning over a million children rode to school in propane buses, 48 states, over 18,000 buses in operation today. And I think what I like to see is that school systems that have made demonstrations and trials now have commitments to get to 100% propane fleet as they can replace their older diesel buses because they see the benefits for the children and they also see the financial benefits for the school system. And no, nowhere is saving money more important than it is in a school. It is a money savings over time, but how expensive is it initially to purchase these buses over regular diesel buses and gas-powered buses? Well, these buses cost about the same, propane or diesel, and some school systems see perhaps a three to $5,000 increase, and a bus costs about $100,000. So about the same. The real operation benefit though is these buses can be much cheaper to operate than a diesel bus. The fuel is cheaper, the maintenance is cheaper. So most school systems will talk about saving 30 to 50 percent in their operating cost of the propane bus and it's with that those savings that are so important. Some school systems hire more teachers, some are able to make changes to the school, some spend that money for instructional materials. But healthier children, cleaner community, saving money, so important. Oh, I agree, so important. So are you encouraging entire buses to be overhauled or entire fleets or just as a new bus needs to be purchased to purchase a propane powered bus instead of the traditional? A bus's cargo is the most precious cargo on earth, right? And so our, our suggestion is that as you replace aging, dirty diesel buses, you replace them with modern propane fueled buses. That's the best way and certainly that takes longer but that way we're sure that these buses that are are meeting the stringent federal requirements they also are the most modern buses possible and, and that's the right way to go about it and that's the way most fleet managers want to go about it. Where can we get more information? Well we created a website for parents because we want parents to engage in this conversation with other parents and with their school board. That website is betterourbuses.com. There's also a website for people that are interested in this subject about how propane is a part of the energy mix going forward as the conversation really becomes strongly about climate change and the environment. That website is propane.com. So for a parent, betterourbuses.com or propane.com. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Tucker, for talking with us. This is definitely important to us here in Park City. And next time you're in town, please stop by Park City Television. It's a great place to talk about clean air and great yes. children. Thank you. It absolutely is. Thanks so much, Tucker.